Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome back to another trekking vlog. We just finished the 34 hour break, so uh, we got that done. Um, we're still in Tennessee, so, and we'll just barely be in Arkansas tonight. So we're getting ready to roll out here. Um, I'm gonna drive that three hours, three hours and 30 minutes, get below that uh, eight hour mark. So then when I do a 30 minute break, I'll just have my whole eight hours and then I'll push it into uh, West Memphis, the art in West Memphis. And then uh, we'll be delivering it on Monday. But I kind of thought, I was like, why would I, it's like, there's just like, no, like obviously I have a load right now, but there's no loads like on the weekend. Like if you, pretty much right now, if you get stopped on like a Sunday, you're done. Like you're not, you're not getting a load till Monday. So I was like, why would I, why would I take a 34 on Monday and Tuesday? And like, I kind of slept in yesterday which I did again today, cause I was just like, I stayed up like, so I slept in. But, um, I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna do my 34. Like I'm already at like 15 hours. I only need like 19 more. So I did the 34, got her knocked out. And uh, now we have a fresh clock. So we have 70 hours to work this week. I'm thinking we probably should be pretty close to working 70 hours this week. I, I think we'll be down to like 30, 20 hours, somewhere in there. So that's just depending if they can get us long loads or not. I have a feeling that uh, we'll get a tractor supply load at some point. Um, yeah, tractor supply loads aren't really good for over the road. Cause, uh, or at least they weren't for a while because you'd go pick one up. Right, so like for a while here, I don't know. I mean, I think I've been getting loads faster than before, but for a while here, you know, you get a load and it would take a day or two to get you another one. So, you know, you take this tractor supply load, it's only three or 400 miles at most. And then you gotta wait two days to get another load. It's just, they just weren't worth it. I, I was really starting, like every time I get one, I'd be like, gosh, dang it, dude. I gotta wait so freaking long, but Feels good to be back out on the road. Um, it was nice to do a 34. I hadn't had a day off since the 7th. So I was really excited to just relax. <laughs> you know, just kick back, watched uh, some South Park, watched uh, Captain Phillips, and then I watched Unbreak It, or Unbroken or Unbreakable. It's one of those. I don't, I'm not sure which one's the actual name. Both very good movies. Um, I think un, Unbreakable or Unbroken or whatever, I forget the name. Uh, it's just a very, it's based, both of them are based on a true story, but it's just very like, it makes you think like you can do anything you put your mind to, you know? I was looking at my trucker path over here and it looks like the interstate divided for this hot, uh, this airport, but it looks like it's just a highway on the other side because the interstate's still here, but. That's like one of the closest airports I've seen to an interstate, I think. And uh, when I get that pilot's license, I think this is definitely the one to stop at. I think it'd be pretty cool to land next to cars, dude. This would be like a really cool like airport to like have an air show at, you know, like all these cars driving down the road, seeing all these planes at this airfield, have like a big old banner, like air show stop by. It's kind of cool to see that runway just right there. I mean, it'd be cool if a plane was landing and like a little Cessna, just keeping pace with it. Cause they land at about like 60 knots. So that'd be kind of cool. They'd be landing in this way. Or no, they'd be landing that way. Again, you land against the wind. So the wind's blowing this way, according to that wind sock back there. So they'd be landing the same way as we're driving. That'd be pretty cool. But I thought it was like in between the interstates. I was like, no way, bro, that's sick. But it's just in between the interstate and the highway over on the other side of that hill over there. That's kind of a cool runway. So I'll just have to, I'll, I'll remember. It's, it's near uh, Wytheville, Virginia. It's like the town we just passed. In between Wytheville and Marion. I don't know if it's Tennessee or Virginia. We gotta be getting pretty close to Tennessee, so. We crossed over into Tennessee and uh, we're on Interstate 81, um, southbound still. And uh, speed limit's 55 for semi trucks, dude. Like, let's see if we can get anyone over here. Oh 
got this power line right above us. We gotta wait till we pass underneath this power line. Cause that's what's bringing all that static right there. So we get just a little bit further down. Come on, Betsy. I don't wanna hear that. This semi truck's 55 speed limit's a bunch of baloney. Nobody talks on the dang CV anymore, bro. Not a single person. It's very rare. Uh, I think a video a couple days ago, there's a part where I was talking to a, a guy that had a CV, but, and I, I don't know, dude, like, I don't even want to say it again, because, like, nobody ever says anything back. I hate this speed limit. Why is it 55? Yeah, see, nobody, dude. Not a single person. But I gotta cover 589 miles today. So I I gotta go faster than 55. Cause at 55 I can only cover 550 miles in a day. I really need to be going faster than 61 miles an hour, to be honest, but <laughs> this is about all I can do. Cause anything faster than 62, I'm probably getting pulled over. And so I, I just been going about 60 61 62 somewhere in there bro i don't want to get a ticket especially like if i get a ticket i gotta stay at cfi and no one's gonna hire me <laughs> so yeah it's uh it's kind of booty cheeks to be honest because like all these cars get to go 65 but i don't know i'm hoping when i skip down yonder over to 40 I can do the 65 because if I got to do 55 all day, I don't know if I'm going to make it where I'm planning on making it. Like I said, you know, at 65 miles an hour, I can, in an 11 hour day, you're only going to knock out 650 miles. On paper, you know, 10 hours at 65 miles an hour, you should be able to do, you know, in an 11 hour day about 700. It just never works out that way. In 11 hours, you're only going to knock out about 10x of what your speed is. So. I don't know, here's the speed limit sign. We're finally coming up on another one here. See, it's got 65 speed limit trucks, 55. That's so stupid, dude, so stupid. So we made it to this Loves. Uh, I think it took almost four hours. We hit like 30 minutes of traffic, dude. But uh, there's supposed to be lots of parking. It's 3.30, we're not stopping here for the night though. We're just stopping here to take a 30 minute break and we'll probably fill up on diesel. Uh, just because uh, we're down to a quarter of a tank. We missed our fuel stop. Um, I looked at it and it was like an extra five miles and I was like, dude, I really don't have time to drive an extra 10 miles today. Like, I know I'm gonna hit traffic in Nashville. Like, I gotta keep my clock limited on drive time. Um, this is pretty steep. Oh my goodness gracious. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get parked in a spot and then take our 30 and then we'll uh, go over to uh, Fuel Door and get some fuel. Let's see if we, oh, we've stopped here before. There's a, yeah, we've stopped here before. Yep, um, where do we wanna park? Should be some spots over here, I think. Sweep. I was gonna say, should we take that one? But that guy's pretty close to that inside line. We got any spots here? There we go. Or is this two spots right here? Yeah, we're gonna take this. <laughs> it's just easier. All right, I'm gonna turn on those hazards. Cut it up here. Now we're gonna cut it back out. Give it left, one more turn left. Back to straight. Left. Harder left. To straight. Hard left. Back to straight. Just a little bit of right there. Hard left. 
left, hard left. Oh, Betsy. All right. Then you go up to the left just a little bit. And straight. That guy's not straight in that spot, but that's okay. Actually helped us out a little bit. Gonna bump that curb back there. All right, right there. All right, be back with you guys here in a little bit. So we stopped at this Loves, and it ended up taking us an hour and 14 minutes. Um, we stopped and got lunch, and then we got a Subway sandwich. Well, first off, we stopped and used the bathroom. Then we had a McChicken and a McDouble, which was only a freaking cheeseburger. So. I already ate like half of it before I realized it was only a cheeseburger. I didn't go in and say anything because I'm just like, whatever. Less calories, it's fine. And then we stop and get some fuel. And, uh, you know, this truck has 36,000 miles on it and hasn't had an oil change done yet. And I was like, holy crap. Like, I called CFI. I was like, you guys forgetting to get this in the shop or what? And they're like, no, 40,000 miles interval for oil changes i was like oh my goodness gracious i'm going dude this guy can get over in that left lane i'm not sitting any longer um they're like 40,000 mile intervals i was like oh okay so then i uh i checked the dipstick and it was like towards the bottom i was like well i probably better get some oil in here so uh we went and got some oil put some oil in the truck we should be good to go now I don't know what PSI is the normal operating range. I forget. I think it's between 40 and 60 PSI for my oil pressure. Not sure. But I know this truck's been running down like 30, 38, somewhere in there. So, but I figured like if it was really low on oil, the uh, oil pressure would be higher because if the pump would be trying harder to like spread the oil around the motor, but I don't know. I don't know how that stuff works. Anyways, we got 372 miles. We got seven hours on our clock to drive it. I have a feeling once we hit Nashville, uh, it's gonna be uh, some slow traffic. That's always how it goes. But we might be going into Nashville after five o'clock. I don't know how late we're supposed to get there. I guess six hours from now. So 11 o'clock, 11.30. And then we got ourselves a Subway sandwich. So hopefully we should be good. I guess they say you see something new every day out on the road, right? Driving down this interstate, Interstate 40, uh, westbound towards Memphis. And uh, this car in front of me is doing like 45 miles an hour. So I'm like trying to get over to go around this stupid car. Like, why are you doing 45? It's like a brand new Malibu. I'm like, what the hell? So instead of me like getting around him eventually, the car just starts driving on the shoulder and I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna pass them. So, I mean, they're off the shoulder. So I just drove down the shoulder. They get back over from the shoulder back onto the road. And I'm like, all right. All right, guys, we're in the big old city of Nashville, Tennessee here. We're gonna see, it's it's literally dinner time. It's 620. So I wouldn't be surprised if there is a stop traffic up here. We need this one lane over here. Um, the sun's been in my eyes like all afternoon. So that's why the, there it is. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but the sun's in my eyes again. Um, there's a speed limit sign back there for 55, but I don't, they have these electric signs for 45, but I'm literally in the second from left lane, so I don't want to be going that slow. Like, people are going to get mad at me. There's a lot of traffic here. So, uh, we just got to go with the flow of traffic, I guess. See, we're already getting past, dude. Nobody cares. I guess we can slow down a little bit then since no one's on our butt anymore. So far, so good. Been into Nashville for just, like, just coming in. You guys can see the city, but, yeah, I just, oh, looks like we're coming up to a stop. Damn it, dude. I tell you, Nashville's roads, I've said it, like, many times before, but you're going to find the most traffic in any city here in Nashville. I've never had to, like, come to so many stops. Nashville, you're always coming to a stop. But, anyways, we're going to keep on keeping on here, and uh, we'll probably see you guys here in West Memphis here in about three hours the sun should be down by then well 585 miles later we are finally here in west memphis arkansas one of cfi's terminals okay garmin 
Okay, Garmin. Okay, Garmin. Cancel navigation. Okay. I haven't been here for a while. Probably like three months. I hardly ever get to go through uh, Memphis. I don't know what the speed limit on this road is. Neither do the GPS. This is our turn in here though. Um, it might take a second for the gate to open. It just depends on if they're paying attention or not. Sometimes setting the brakes works. Yeah, see? I think there's like audio, and then when you set the brakes, they hear it. <laughs> I always do that at job one too, because I'll pull up, no one ever hears me. I set the brakes, the gate opens. So if you drive for CFI and you want these gates to hurry up, just set the brakes. Oh, there's a blue CFI. Is that my old Kenworth? Dude, yeah, that'd be so weird if it is. My old Kenworth did not have CFI on the top. It'd be super crazy if they put it on the top. I, I doubt it is, because there was like a lot of miles and they were getting ready to trade it off, so. Yeah, that's not my old Kenworth. That'd have been crazy if it was, though. Looks like we're gonna have a straight, no, maybe not. I was gonna say, I think we're gonna have a straight back here, but it doesn't look like it. We might, though. Oh yeah, we're gonna have one. Right next to this other CFI. All right, so we need to go past. Go and turn on these reverse lights here. Oh, we set it up just a little bit wrong. That's okay. There's a lot of drivers waiting here. I can't wait to eat, dude. I haven't ate since this morning, and I got a six inch to go from Subway. Um, Cause I was uh, like, oh, I'm stopping at West Memphis. There's nothing to eat. I was like, hold on, let me get a sandwich before I leave. So I got a sandwich in the fridge, just a six inch Subway club and a bag of sun chips for dinner. Should be enough to tide me over till tomorrow. We're gonna match up with this other driver here, mirror to mirror call it a day we got to get a shower we got to edit two videos and eat dinner tonight so hopefully it doesn't take too long anyways make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe for future content we will see you guys tomorrow peace come on everything is a okay when you're riding with jay keep those wheels turning and we do this every day backing up a trailer look at all the roads i've driven come and ride with me yeah let me show you how i'm living come on